guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here so for this video we are going to do a quick deep dive into the divine masculines we're going to ask the question what is really going on with the divine masculines and for this obviously take what resonates and leave what doesn't and we are going to bring in yeah four decks and we'll check in to see what's going on and we are going to bring in the tarot of the celtic fairies so thank you angels what what is really going on with the divine masculines what is really going on with the divine masculines thank you angels what is really going on with the divine masculines what is really going on with the divine masculines what is really going on with the divine masculines okay and then we're also going to bring in the divine masculine messages tarot thank you angels what is really going on with the divine masculines okay and we'll bring in the divine masculine takes charge affirmations thank you angels what is really going on with the divine masculines what do we need to know and we'll finish off with the twin flame oracle thank you angels what is really going on with the divine masculines what is really going on with the divine masculines what is really going on with the divine masculines okay so we'll start with the tarot of the celtic fairies and see what cards have come out here so we've got a few cards that that have come out so the first card, just putting this out. So the first card that I can see here, we've got the judgment card. And this is really, as you can see, this is, you've got that divine masculine there with the head in their hands. And, you know, this is the card of sort of getting to a point of looking at your life and reflecting on your life and, you know, going through a time of change, a time of awakening, a time of seeing that, you know, certain things that have happened have not really been what you'd wanted for your life. It's like a time of starting to see things a different way, a time of awakening, a time of wanting that change and seeing, you know, how, where you, how you've got to the point where you are in your life and seeing that, you know, certain things have not worked out out certain things have gone away that you were not expecting or wanting and you know and just wanting that change so to walk your your path and i really feel this is where the divine masculines are at a time of awakening at a time of seeing that the life that they've always lived is no has not really brought in that fulfillment or the life that they're living right now it's not bringing in that fulfillment and you know what they want for their life and they are going through an awakening to start to see things at different way so that they can truly follow their path so this is where they are right now at a place of reflecting upon their life and seeing that they need this change and they want to really walk the path that they're truly here to walk and you know and so they are wanting that change and they are going through an awakening to help them to be able to move forward towards the life that they're truly here to live the next card that we have here is the Ten of Swords. And, you know, the Ten of Swords is the card of reaching the end of a cycle. And as you can see in that one there, it's like, you know, it's your, the Divine Masculine or your Divine Masculine has got to the point where they are in their life right now. And it's not been an easy life you know it's like it's been a battle they've been you know they've gone through all sorts in their life from childhood you know traumas pain you know things have happened but they're now reaching this end point of you know starting to awaken starting to see that there's a different way to live their life you know they've had many many battle battles and you know and now they just want a change it's like they're reaching the end of the cycle of the life that they've always had so that they can move forward towards the life that they're truly here to live as they go through the awakening so this is about an end of a cycle and moving forward towards the life that they're truly here to live so this is what is going on with the divine masculines the next card that we've got here we've got the king of spears and the king of spears yes you can see it's like the divine masculine sort of coming out of the darkness there and moving more into the light and you know they're just like at the threshold of coming out of the darkness but if not to fully come out of the darkness and you know what is this is showing you it's like is that reaching the end of the cycle that awakening time that sort of looking at their lives and thinking this is not working i want to change and you know it's like they're showing you that they're coming towards the light towards you with their divine feminine and the ones is all about you know this it's king of spears is the ones 
Christians is all about that fire and passion. So they have that fire and passion to move forward towards the light, towards the life that they truly desire. And it's like your divine masculine is holding that sort of cup or whatever that is. You know, it's like the cup of that loyalty that they have towards you, their divine feminine. Even though if they may still be sort of in the darkness there, but they're coming out and they're still holding on to that loyalty when it comes to this love that they have for you because it is the love that comes from the creator so no matter what has happened in the darkness they are coming out and they're showing you that they are loyal to you and you know and they are moving forward towards you so you know this is them having that loyalty towards you and you know and they are the threshold of coming out of this darkness more into the light and this is also about moving more towards you their divine feminine as well and then the next card that we've got here, we've got the Empress. And the Empress, you know, this, uh, you can see this card is different. There is, this card is of all about nurturing and caring and love and light. And, you know, it's a lighter card. It's a more beautiful card. And this is what they see when they think of you, their Divine Feminine. You are the beautiful, nurturing and caring Divine Feminine. You are their Empress. And, you know, and this is what they're drawn to. This is why they are wanting to be with you, you know, the love that they have for you, but also just the fact that you are their empress. There's no one else like you for them. And, you know, they want to be with you and they're dreaming about you. They're thinking about you. They're wanting to be with you. So that's why this card has come out as well for the divine masculines. The next card that we have is the five of spears. And this is that card of the conflict. So, you know, they may be facing certain conflict in their 3D world. Maybe they may be in a relationship where things are not working. They, they're wanting this change and it's causing a lot of drama and conflict in their 3D world. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't when it comes to your journey or your divine masculine. And, um, oh, but I feel this is also about the inner conflict, you know, things going on in their mind, that mental anguish, you know, them being in their mind too much. They're trying to sort out so many things. They're thinking about about what they've lost and what they are wanting to do this the fears also come in of the life that they've always lived you know the programming the conditioning you know that's why they're sort of holding their head at the time of judgment where they're starting to see that all these things that they've been taught have not really led them to where they want to be but there's still fears of changing what they've been used to all their life so there's also that sort of inner conflict that is going on within them you know the sort of the the the, the fears coming up and being in their mind too much going on so this is also going on for your divine masculine and then the next card that we've got here so let's see what we also have here so let's see i'm just trying to make to understand so we've got here the five of stones and this is like the five of pentacles and this is a card of like hardship and you know things not working out very well and as you can see it's like those two people it's like they're putting putting blame on each other or that one is putting blame on the other person so i really feel this could be something going on in their 3d world maybe to do with finances, maybe, you know, that's what is causing that conflict as well. You know, the in the 3D world, they are maybe trying to make a change in their lives, in their life. And, you know, they, they may be that sort of quarreling and things like that going on as well. But this can also just be hardship when it comes to your divine masculine, trying to work out what to actually do when it comes to their life. And then the next card that we've got here, we've got the six of cauldrons and that's like, that's the six of cups. And this card is that card about, you know, reminiscing of the past, thinking about the past. And I really feel that this has to do with you because cups are all about the emotion and love. And they are thinking about the good times that they've had with you. Even during those times of, you know, the first card that we had, the judgment card of putting their hands in their head, you know, it's about realizing that they've lost the they're divine feminine and you know they want things to change they're rem reminiscing of the good times and you know and they are wanting to be the past that comes back into your life because that's what this card is about as well so they're wanting to be the past that comes back into your life and you know and because they're missing you they're wanting to be with you you are their empress they're always thinking about you because of that love that they have for you as well so powerful that that has come out and it's showing you that they will be that 
past that comes back into your life because they are wanting to be with you. The next card that has come out is the lover's card. So, you know, they are thinking about this love as well. They know that they have this love for you, their divine feminine. And, you know, you can see that there's like that divine masculine sort of sitting there. who doesn't look very happy. You know, it's like... He, he feels all this love for you, the divine feminine, but missing you as well is the message that's really coming through with this card. So they are missing you. They're feeling, you know, just that wishing that they were with you. That's why they're reminiscing as well of the good times that you've shared. And, you know, and they are wanting a change. You know, that's part of that awakening that is helping them to make a change when it comes to their life so that they can have all that love that they are desiring, that love with you, their divine feminine. And the next card that we've got here. We've got the seven of stones and the seven of stones is the card of, um, you know, that's the seven of pentacles. That's that card of, you know, setting intentions and going for the things that you, that you're wanting. And you can see it's like that divine masculine there is coming out of the bushes there. They are going for what they are desiring. So they are sort of starting to set intentions to think about what it is that they truly want for their life and to work towards this as well. And then the next card that we've got here for the Divine Masculines, we've got the star. And this is the card about hope for the future. So you're being shown here that there is hope for the Divine Masculines. They may be going through all these things that are going on, the fears, you know, but they are going through an awakening and that is bringing in a new beginning. That is bringing in hope for the future when it comes to the love that they desire with you, their Divine Feminine, when it comes to stepping out of the darkness and moving forward towards the light, towards the life that they truly desire, you know, because they're holding that cup of that loyalty towards you and they are working towards this love they're dreaming about you they're thinking about you so you're being shown here that there is hope for the future when it comes to the divine masculine and the love that they desire as well the last card that came out is the chariot so this is about things moving forward and it's a seven again we're in that month of july and that that card has come out again so you're being shown here that things are moving forward you know they are also in their own life they're doing what they need to do to move things forward when it comes to this love so you're being shown that things are moving forward when it comes to the divine masculine and that is going to lead them towards this life with you and then the cards that came out from the uh, Divine Masculine Message is Tarot. So the first card that we've got is the Judgment card. So this card has come out twice with, with, with both decks. And it says here, I'm releasing my fears about what other people think to finally put my own needs first and follow my heart. So this is the time where they're looking back at their life and realizing that they've always sort of followed the crowd, you know, the programming, the conditioning, and it has led them to where they don't really want to be. They're not fulfilled in their life. They want to change in their life. It's like that time of starting to awaken and realizing that they've just been following the crowd and now they are working on releasing the fears of what other people would think, what the things that they've been told or, you know, that, they, that they've learned that they need to do in their life. They are working to release all this. And, you know, those are the fears that cause um, the inner conflict as well. So they are letting you know that they are releasing those fears. And these are fears of what people think. It's something that comes through from, you know, what society and the programming and conditioning had told them that they need to live their life like this. So they are releasing the fears of what other people would think. Releasing all this as they go through their awakening to really start following their own path so that they can have the life that they truly desire. So they are releasing what fears of what other people will think so that they can finally put their own needs first and follow their heart and their heart is guiding them to you so this is what is going on with them the next card that came out is the death card I am changing. And that's the message that's really coming through the other tarot deck as well. It's about the change that is happening within them, reaching the end of a cycle, changing within themselves, changing when it comes to their life, changing when it comes to, you know, where they are when it comes to life in general. So I am changing. I'm no longer the person I was and I'm still becoming who I will be. So they're still going through this time of change and they're saying to you, great change is happening for our connection. So as change is happening for them, 
them there is great change that is happening for your connection that's why there's forward movement when it comes you know the chariot came out there is forward movement in your divine masculine there is change that is happening within them and that is helping them to move forward that's helping your connection to move forward as well so it's like the death of the old your divine masculine to the new person this is what is happening with them right now and you know these things take time they don't just happen just like that the next card that has come out we've got the four of pentacles and it says i'm afraid of losing everything i've worked for in my life but i won't let you go so those are the uh, is that inner conflict as well that comes in for the divine masculines you know it may be they may be in a job that you know takes up all their time and all these things but they've been they've been doing this for so long they're afraid to lose what they've worked for in, in the, for a long time or the life that they've always known so they are going through this time of releasing all these fears you know so that they can be able to move forward and releasing those fears is part of this awakening and the transformation that is happening within them and they're saying but i won't let you go so you are the one that they truly desire so you know it may take them time to release these fears but they won't let you go because you are the one that they truly would like to be with so they will get there is the message that's coming through i don't want to lose you there you go five of cups so this is also what's going on with them it's like they sort of caught in between you know all these fears and you know just no Knowing that they don't want to lose you their divine feminine but what is going to win is them knowing they don't want to lose you because of the love that they have for you it is that love that will conquer everything you know it will conquer all those fears it may take time but they will get there because they don't want to lose you because of the love that they have for you the next card that has come out is the six of cups and this came out as well in the other deck that's about not being able to forget you reminiscing about the past you know and they're saying to you i can't forget you i'm returning to you soon so you know they are working towards this life with you you know they are wanting to to be with you they're dreaming about you they're empress you know they're divine feminine and they want to be with you and they're saying to you i can't forget you no matter how long it has been i can't forget you i'm returning to you soon and they're also saying here eight of wands everything is falling into place so you know things are happening the way that they're meant to happen everything is falling into place for your divine masculine in their own life even if they may still have the fears and all these things going on there is a change that is happening within them they're going through a transformation there is the death of the old and the the incoming of the new this rebirth that is happening to help them to be able to move forward so it's all happening and you're being shown here that everything is falling into place so powerful cards to come out and then the messages that came through from them as well from uh, the divine masculine takes charge affirmations so the first card that has come out is okay i am learning to listen to my heart so they're letting you know that they're learning to listen to their heart they're learning to come out of their mind too much that causes all that inner conflict and those fears and they're learning to listen to their heart so powerful as well that that has come out so you know they're learning a lot of things they're also saying i'm letting go of negative thinking so they're working on letting go of negative thinking because negative thinking is what brings in all those fears about you know what if i lose all these things i've worked for all my life and all these things so they're working on letting go of negative thinking they're also saying i'm working on becoming financially stable as i said with all these take what resonates for your journey and leave what doesn't they are working on becoming financially stable so they your divine masculine may be working hard in their job you know or really focused on what they're doing it's because they're working on becoming financially stable and then the next card that has come out is i'm clearing myself of addictions negative patterns and unhealthy ways of living so there's change that is happening within them. They're working on themselves as well, clearing themselves of addictions, negative patterns, unhealthy way or unhealthy ways of living. I am finding other like-minded people who are helping me on the journey. So they're also finding people who are helping them on the journey, on their journey. You know, the same way you find people who help you on your journey, they're also finding like-minded people. 
they are saying to you i am becoming the emperor so you know everything that they're doing on their own journey right now is helping them to become the emperor you know they want to be with you their divine feminine their empress and they are becoming the emperor so they are letting you know this as well they are also saying i desire true love in my life and that really came through as well in the first deck where we had the lover's card and then we had that six of cups about the past coming back they can't forget you they're returning to you because you are their true love and they're saying to you here this is what is going on with them that they really they desire true love in their life so they're working towards having true love in their life and they're also saying i'm in love with my divine feminine so really powerful that this has come out as well they are in love with you their divine feminine they're working towards this life with you they're reaching the end of a cycle and i feel some fear coming up as well and, and they're reaching the end of a cycle and they know they're in love with you it is that love that they have for you that is going to help them to get past all these things that are in the way so that they can be with you but they are showing you here that i am in love with my divine feminine so really beautiful cards okay and then to finish off the cards that came out from the um twin flame oracle here they're saying to you you are my sunshine so they are in love with you their divine feminine and they're saying to you you are my sunshine and they're working towards this life with you because they feel that warmth when they think about you you know that beautiful card of the empress in the first deck where there's all light and you know it's nurturing and caring so you are their sunshine and they're also saying to you thank you for never giving up on us so this is what they are saying to you you know this is why they're offering you that loyalty as well in the other card because you know they know that you haven't given up on them and they are saying to you thank you for you no know, for never giving up on us so really beautiful message and then the next card that came out is meeting you was destiny loving you was inevitable so really powerful you know that that meeting that you to go you know that getting together of you two at whatever time that you did it was destiny it was meant to be and they're saying to you loving you was inevitable because this love is truly meant to be so really beautiful and then they're also saying i'm in a much better headspace now so you know wherever they are on their journey they're letting you know that they, they are in a much better headspace now you know they may still have some fears and things coming up but there's change happening within them and they're saying to you i'm in a much better headspace now they're also saying to you you are my strength and biggest inspiration so you know you are their sunshine you are their strength and their biggest inspiration and they want to be with you their divine feminine and last card last but certainly not least they are saying to you have faith i am making my way back to you so they're saying to you divine feminine have faith i am making my way back to you this love is destiny you know i am just going through what i need to go through learning what i need to learn releasing what i need to release as part of my own growth as part of my own evolving into the greatest version of myself so in the meantime you know whilst all this is happening have faith i am making my way back to you so really beautiful messages coming through about what is really going on with your divine masculine. I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.